I'm so happy to meet you. I am so honored and thrilled to meet you. I really am. This is, um, it's very personal for me in a world where we're all trying to figure out who we're supposed to be. The risk. Yes. The Bravery oh my gosh, eat. I had no idea how vulnerable I was even willing to get. And honestly, that day one video that I made, it was kind of supposed to be a comedy video because I think coming outs can be so um, intense. And, you know, I kind of wanted to add some, some humor. I think that we can all learn through comedy. I think you can relate. It's my lifeline. Now... I, I do think that there was so much that came up this year that I had no idea that I was going to have to figure out in womanhood and, and vulnerable things that I didn't even know were there. Well, let me ask you, is it true that Laverne Cox, you met her, but what she said to you wasn't what I thought she was going to say to you. What was it? She said to keep some things private for myself, and I couldn't agree more in the way that there were a few moments this year where I was like, was I actually ready to say that? But now, since meeting her and having that moment, I go, okay, what would Laverne do? And I actually have stopped myself from making a few videos to make sure that I was actually ready to talk about those things. And how does it feel, you know, has that wisdom guided you in ways that you're glad you heard it or you're still figuring that out? Still figuring it out, but I think back to my like childhood self and I think about if I was following myself on TikTok as like a young kid, what would I want to hear? Or, you know, so much of my audience is a younger demographic and I sort of would love to show transness in a way that we haven't seen it before because I figured when I came out that I might have to go into hiding and then do all my surgeries privately and change my name. And I instead decided, hey, let me see if the world is willing to accept me this way from day one. And they did. And you actually have some really supportive, interesting followers. I'm just going to kick it off with Lady Gaga. Oh, my gosh. I love her. I, I mean, I, I had the Born This Way ball like poster on my, my wall. And now, you know, she, every video, there's like a little something from her. And I can't wait to meet her. That's the best part. I will say there's so much hatred and drama and, you know, just things get convoluted. But getting to meet, you know, my role models, even you today is like, it's the best part. Not going to lie. Let me ask you about the negativity. How have you dealt with it? And, and what's an approach you take? What's your self-talk? What do you filter? Yes. How oh, do you... I still read the comments, but... There is so much hatred directed at the trans community right now. It's everywhere. And I think the greatest weapon that I can contribute is trans joy and comedy and talking about hard, you know, subjects and really intricate moments of a transition and try to let everybody in to see that, you know, I'm not a monster. I'm not somebody that, you know, um, is trying to, to do anything but be myself and be happy. Thank you. Love you. Thank you, everybody, for that support. How do you stay on your own path? Where do you draw boundaries? Where do you find the strength to keep being the joy? Well, I think having my chosen family and the people that I love to take care of me. But I also think there's something just about... Uh, making sure that you're, you don't put something out there before you're ready and, and really just surrounding yourself with good people. It's interesting because I look at someone like you and I can't imagine anybody disliking you. Oh, please. Do you know, do you want to know, ironically, who uh, dislikes me the most sometimes? Who? Myself. Oh, me too. Oh. And, but, I guess, you know, you've asked me now, like, <sighs> You've asked me, like, what I would do to combat the hate, right? Yeah. But what do you do? Okay, that's a great question. Now, I started... You've been doing it a little longer than I have. Well, you know, it's funny, because when I was a kid, um, you, starting with E.T., it was the first time I was introduced to film reviews, which are basically social media. Yes. But 
I felt like all these reviews, and it would, could be a Charlie's Angels, it could be an E.T., it could be The Wedding Singer, everything in between. If you read reviews, just like on social media, you are pretty much guaranteed a 50-50. Some like it, some don't. So you've got to be willing to bear down and brace for it. And I think... I think picking your battles, too. Yes. And sometimes I think the greatest uh, response can just be in the next joyous video or in the next win that you have, because that just goes to show that, like, you are continuing on and whatever that those people are projecting onto you, it isn't actually penetrating. I couldn't agree more because another thing that you're making me realize is to not carry on in spite of others. I'm sorry, I just realized that I'm sitting on the floor with Drew. I'm <laughs> so happy crazy. to be doing this. Thank you for oh. joining me on the floor. The floor always feels safer. It feels nice. All right, we have to go to a quick commercial break. I don't want to, but the good news is we'll be right back. We'll be 